Hey, what's up, Rise of Kingdoms? Get your passports ready because you might be able to migrate soon, okay? So we got a new update that is coming out. Um, so the system now just now uh, ignores the event, same shit over and over. But uh, let's check on Season of Conquest Story. Heroic Anthem Treasury of Heroes Pioneer Event Launch. So this is gonna be the first time this kind of a Lost Kingdom happens. A uh, kingdom currently in Seed of Conquest have the chance to be the first to play the all new Heroic Anthem Treasury of Heroes story as a pioneer event. A uh, governor taking part in this pioneer event will gain pioneer rewards and participation rewards on top of the standard rewards. A new alliance gameplay, okay, governor can join alliance belonging to any kingdom in their camp and fight alongside them at any time. So governor can join alliance belonging. So right now, in current KVK, even though, even though you are in the same camp, there can be multiple kingdoms in the same camp, but you cannot join different alliance from different kingdoms. So sometimes uh, you can stay on uh, a different kingdom's territory and then you get wrecked. Okay, <laughs> you see he got rally. Um, so this is one of the big changes that coming in. Um, we also got New Orleans gameplay. Okay, I, just, I read it already. A uh, New Orleans base Crusader achievement. Uh, complete their requirement to gain amazing rewards. So now there gonna be Alliance base achievement now. I don't know, like how much it's gonna give, like. I think they definitely gonna reduce the the reward for um like coalition or the kingdom. I don't know. There is no way they're keeping everything the same and they gonna give additional rewards for alliance. But I could be wrong, you know. Lilith being nice. I don't know. It looks like they're being nice today, guys. I mean like look like they they're being nice with the new KVK here. Right. So the third one, I think is the most important one. A new three days immigration period. Uh, during the during the immigration period, the governor can apply to immigrate to any kingdom in the same lost kingdom as Sam. Okay, upon approval, you can immigrate immigrate to the new kingdom at the at cost of a fewer passports page, uh, compared to regular immigration. Okay, so here's uh, a little thing that I have, um, a little question that I have here. Okay, first thing that, uh, will Imperium status apply for this special immigration right and like imperium kingdom in the lost kingdom taking in as many players as they want or is there still also restriction that um imperium kingdom cannot take people in right? i i think i think the imperium the imperium kingdom still still got apply i think second issue is that will there be power imbalance Let's say if everybody thinks, oh, the fire camps go win, the kingdom in that fire camp is, let's say, kingdom XXXX. Everybody is going, oh, let's go to that kingdom. Okay. And it, it doesn't tell you here that, it doesn't tell you here that, um, is it immigration period is before the KVK started or after the KVK started, right? But if it happened before the KVK started, I can definitely see like a, like a, it, it can, it can definitely af affect the KVK. It just doesn't, it just doesn't sound like a good idea to let people migrate to a kingdom before the fight happened. I mean like, yeah, like some people gotta love to stay back and fight and challenging themselves, but I mean, like the majority of the free to play are low spender migrant. Oh, we gotta want to go for an easy win, and that might be a good kingdom to migrate to. Um, so there is no restriction. I don't see any restriction here, but we might see more information in the future. But like, I like the idea of letting people migrate to that kingdom after the KVK ends, but like not before the KVK starts. <laughs> we'll see, guys. I don't know. Um, are they trying to like kill some of the dead kingdoms so that you no, know, they're putting all the dead kingdoms and one decent kingdom in one KVK and then 
Well, is that is that decent kingdom winning and then everybody's gonna migrate to that new kingdoms? I don't know. Um but like the the biggest change the biggest change in the uh, new Heroic Anthem Treasury of Heroes is pretty much just letting people migrate. Um and I don't know. I don't know, is it like at I, I really hope it's not at the beginning of the KVK. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine if it happened at the beginning of the KVK, the, the power imbalance could be so huge, and it might just ruin KVK for most of the people here. Um, I don't know, I, uh, let, me, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think it, it's, it's good, I think it's good and bad at the same time. It's good that it reduces the amount of passport costs. So imagine if I, I mean, if I'm getting myself in some of the, the big KVK and I, I might decide to migrate at the end. Let's say, uh, for example, last KVK, right, 1960 and 207. Uh, at the end of the KVK, you might think, oh, maybe I'm gonna join 1960 because they perform so well. Right? You gonna be able to join them with much much lesser amount of passports. But what if it at the beginning, right? If it at the beginning, it, I, I just see like. I think if it like at the beginning, I just see like it could be a huge mess. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Okay, guys? And thanks for watching the videos. Peace.